Yeah, good day YouTubers, it's uh, Spanner Man again with another video on uh, uh, chainsaws. Uh, this time uh, we're going to sort of have a bit of a review and some do's and don'ts on a uh, chainsaw chain breaker and a chainsaw chain spinner. So I've just broken a link and when you break a link you'll find out that when it separates you'll have the, that was the preset, that's the tie strap and these little bits here are the parts where it's mushroomed over the rivet to break off so yeah if you do it properly uh, that's what you'll end up doing so we'll just take those away now surprisingly and surprisingly there's always a right way and a wrong way and believe it or not you can make mistakes uh, even on one of these machines as simple as what it sounds you can damage uh, the little tool. This is a little tool here. We'll just uh, this goes inside, and this is the the nice point here, and that has to be right in the middle of the rivet when you bring it down. So we'll just pop that in. So a lot of people damage them, and I have to admit I damaged the first one because I wasn't watching what I was doing. So hopefully in this video I can tell you some do's and don'ts and what you should and shouldn't do so we'll just pop that in and that's just a matter of putting it in and there's a little allen key at the side little grub screw so put the allen key in there and just nip it up so it doesn't fall down okay so that's in there now the next thing is is the anvil now this particular anvil here is the one that i prefer it is adjustable, so you rotate this screw in and out and the gap opens or closes. The little milled part here is so that the tooth can lay in there if you're going to uh, snap off a, a tooth, but you know, if, you want to break, if you want to break the chain where the tooth is, but I ne never do that. Now there's another type of anvil that you can use. It's, uh, I got it, but I prefer the adjustable one over it. You may have seen them around, it's this type here. You've got all different sizes on one side and different sizes on the other. But what I find out is that this one, I have this as a preference because it seems to be more accurate. Okay, now another thing that you may do if you repair a chain is they refer to them as a butterfly. And that's a butterfly on... This is, this is a left butterfly. If you face a tooth towards you, that's what you call a left butterfly and the other one's a right butterfly. So you've got two different, so sometimes you need to repair a tooth. Okay, now one thing that's really important is when you first start to break a chain, you must make sure it should look like this. This will be the start of the chain. Just see if we can zoom in. So you'll see the the tooth here and and you'll see the drive link. So when you start to break a chain, it should always be like that. So you'll have a drive link. You see the drive link on the start of the tooth? Now there's a drive link on the start of the tooth or before the tooth and there's a drive link after the tooth. So this particular chain that we're going to break is a 20 inch chain and it has 72 drive links. Now what I did, I don't know whether you can see it, we'll just see if you can see it up there, we'll just, yeah, we'll just go zoom out a little bit. What I've done up, up this end here, let me just go up there and have a look. I've drilled a hole into the metal here and I've measured uh, the exact length for uh, 72 links, which is a 20 inch chain. So it's just a matter of putting that metal pin through the drive link. And because it's all been measured, when we get back to our breaker, our chain breaker, the pin will 
line up on the correct uh, drive link to brake. So it's a matter of just putting the vise on. Now, that gap has been pre-adjusted, so I don't need to do it. Now, what you've got to be very careful of is lift the chain up, and that's ready to break at the moment. Now, what you've got to make sure is that the two rivets, and we'll just see if we can zoom in there, because I can tell you what, the instructions leave a lot to be desired. So, we'll just see if I can get dead straight on. That's better. Now, if you actually look at that, you'll, you'll notice that the two rivets are right, right in the middle of that vise. Now, what is the most critical part here is that you've got to get that punch right in the middle. That's about it there. That's right in the middle of the rivet. So with a little bit of force, it's just a matter of pushing down. That's the first one. Move it across to the second one and make sure that you line it up in the middle of the rivet as best as possible. Just check, it's just a little bit out. This is the most critical part because if you get this wrong, you'll damage the, the punch. Okay, so that, now that's just broken. That's what's supposed to happen.